My name is Philip Dearden. I'm the chair of the geography department and I study biodiversity conservation. When you think of biodiversity conservation, the way we normally protect biodiversity is by setting certain areas aside, such as national parks, and seeing people can't hunt in them, people can't chop the trees down in them, or we have endangered species protection where we say people can't shoot endangered species. But one of the things that we do, we look at conservation differently. That approach is kind of costly and uh, it's not sustainable in the long run. It's not working as well as it should do. So what we try to do, we try to get local communities involved with conservation and so that we create incentives for them to conserve. We have to sustain the ecosystems on this planet to stay alive. It's a selfish interest, if you will. And those ecosystems are composed of species. And those species are becoming extinct at record levels, levels we've never before experienced in the life of this planet. And so if you think of that, if you think of these ecosystems as that aeroplane held together by these rivets, people don't notice when we miss one rivet, when we miss two rivets, when we miss three rivets. rivets. But sooner or later those rivets are popping out of there, pop, 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 and the whole ecosystem is unraveling. Thank you.